Hello everybody, and welcome back to another quick logistics tutorial. This is a completely different world, using basically the same system. There is a slight change that I made to make it uh, slightly more efficient, space efficient. So, um, there will be, if you have a quarry like that, there will be tons and tons of cobblestone, dirt, and sand coming in. So what you can do is just change this pipe here, the one right in front of the distribution pipe, and it'll change what comes in. So this, these 16 chests hooked up to the distribution pipes right here will all only get cobblestone. So if you have bunches of quarries running, they will never, f they should never fill up. And over here, this one's the default route, because I didn't want to <laughs> set all of them up, but it would make sense in a survival world. So this is the default route, and then they're just getting distributed without within that one, too. And then this is just the same hub with a quarry in, a storage in, and a request. 32 dirt. Now, I also wanted to show you today my quarry system. Now, this is once you have enough resources to sustain a lot. Let's see if this works, yeah. Okay. So you just need medium voltage solar arrays. I didn't test low voltage, so they might work. And I have fast electric engines pumping it. You, you don't need that much power, to be honest. But, um... Just three of them onto a wooden conductive into the quarry. Then this basic out system to the teleport pipe. And I used the landmarks to make it bigger. And yeah. That is all I wanted to show today. But I'm just going to show you how I actually set this up. I'm going to show you the making of it. So first thing I put down is the teleport pipe, which I'm going to set to a blank frequency so nothing comes in and then you want your logistic pipe and then I usually use four distribution pipes, you can use more um, it just takes a little bit to set up one, two, three, four, good and then you set this up, the first one this is the hard part so the output is going to be light blue so in the output you want you want twelve and then the input is that. So you want zero. Because nothing should be going out of the input. From this side, anyways. And then same thing here. Nothing there. Actually, did I do that wrong? No, I did it right. Perfect. And then we should have eight here. One and everything else. Zero, one, two, three, four here. One and everything else. And here nothing in those two and yeah so those are the distribution pipes all set up now for the chests you just want them first across the bottom actually it doesn't really matter what order you do it in then the provider pipes all of them preferably alchemical chests are on top of those because they you can't shift click them onto these distribution pipes or each other I'd, oh you can on each other I guess but and then Oh yeah, since you can do that, just do some of this work. Okay. And then that. Uh oh. I didn't want too many chests and pipes. Okay. Four. <laughs> and then you want the provider pipes. Use them on the two corners because they will work for both chests. And then the alchemical chests right there and then you need four basic logistic pipes just to connect up the system and this will store your system store all of your items and let you get them this is what I this is the best method I think I guess technically you could use more distribution pipes but uh, if you wanted to have one and then upgrade it later, you'd have to redo all of the distribution pipes, and that would take a while. I guess that's one of the low points. 
Yep. So I'm just going to let this quarry go for a bit. They're off. Oh, dang it. Morning. And I think... Hmm, I'm just going to set this to quarry, receive true, so that everything from the quarry goes into that system once I set that to the default route. Yes. And then everything from this quarry pipe, I'll just probably get rid of it. That's storage. Quarry, false. And then this is quarry... True. Look at that. It's really fun to watch it from this side. It's like, choo. Pew, pew. And they all go to their respective chest. So I will get back to you when I feel like there's a lot of items come in. Okay, hello, and welcome back. I'm, I just used a, um, a bed with the Somnimon to simulate the world for quite some time. As you can see, the quarry has gone down a significant amount. Because it is such a big quarry, there should be quite a bit of material. And let me see if that's true. Yay! <laughs> and none of the chests have actually... But look, there's like the exact same stuff in all the chests. So let's say you wanted that iron ore. Well, it's spread out between all of the chests, basically. So how much iron ore is there? 18? How long would a normal request take for 18? I don't know. But with this system, it's... Oh shoot, I turned the hub off, didn't I? Right, is that what happened? Or... Storage can receive true. That would help. Now get it. Oh, come on. Hmm... <laughs> Oh wait, that's set to quarry. What if I set this? Oh, then all those items like to go in. And then they go to storage, which isn't bad, I guess. But actually, yeah, I should, um, actually, yeah, turn that back on. So now everything will go back to the regular storage instead of this one. And then, that was just a human error. Uh, false, and then set to storage, and then true. And then this is a second default route, so I guess like every other item, maybe? Is there actually anything coming in here? No. Okay. That's weird. But anyways, back to that iron, which there's more of now. 23... Instant request. Oh man, this is great. And I already have like a thousand cobblestone. So let's say I wanted what? Maybe 64, maybe 128. Huh? Well, I completely messed up the system, but it works when you do it right. What's this set to? Storage. Good. Is there cobblestone in here? A little bit. Not 128. Maybe I should just hook this up from the back. <laughs> like everybody else does. And then... This can go... Boop! This is great practice. Out. Out. Add. True. And this should be set to out. Receive. False. I almost... Now work. There we go. And look how fast it comes to. It's like, I want tons of cobblestone. And then it's just 
it's there basically and if you've used the logistic pipes before you know how terribly long it takes normally why is that happening well I messed up the rest of the system but the part I was gonna show off works so yeah thank you so much for watching and um, use this system it's really good when you set it up right I did but then I, I added another one to show you guys how it works and I messed the whole system up so yeah I'll see you later okay so I decided that I had another idea that went along with this um, and that is when items come in let's just say items come in from here um, you can then have your system set up so that when they come through here you can have multiple actual storage systems so if you didn't want to um if you didn't want to use that many chests in one unit i guess for some weird reason um everything could come into here and you could have, I don't know, five into there, five into there, five into there, five into there. But that also changes, or gives you more control over how many items each system holds. So if you have a system with more chests, you can make more items go there. And if you have a system with less chests, you could have less items go there. If that makes sense. But that's only if you don't have... Um, this pipe set up the logistic pipe with the cobblestone that only works if you don't have that set up because if you do have that set up you probably just want your cobblestone to go straight there unless you set this up especially for cobblestone and you had four of these on cobblestone which you probably wouldn't need but if you did that's how you would do that now this has gone pretty pretty far and is it still using this system? Yeah, it is. See, look how look how much is still in these... Or, look how much room all of the chests still have after it's gone through that much. And if we look at our materials... We got all of this copper and clay and coal and stuff. A thousand cobblestone, three thousand dirt. And if... I don't think there's much dirt actually in here nine-ish per chest and then there's a bunch of cobblestone in here so yeah now it's going to be the end of the episode thank you so much for watching have a nice day